Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're diving into a fascinating question from one of our viewers about MPI, or the Message Passing Interface. They want to know about the role of MPI Barrier in conjunction with MPI Gather, especially when dealing with small versus large datasets. Specifically, they ask, is MPI Barrier ever needed after an MPI Gather, or does MPI Gather already include an implicit barrier? And does the size of the data being processed make a difference? Let's explore this intriguing topic together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully you find that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. Let's start by understanding the role of MPI Barrier in your MPI program. MPI Barrier is used to synchronize all processes in a communicator. This means that all processes must reach the barrier before any can proceed. In your case, after calling MPI Scatter, the processes can begin their computations immediately without waiting for others. This is why you notice that commenting out the MPI barrier did not affect the correctness of your computations. Now, regarding MPI Gather, it does not have an implicit barrier. However, it ensures that all data from the processes is collected before the master process can proceed. This means that while MPI Gather does not block other processes, it does ensure that all data is gathered before moving on. As for the size of the data being processed, it can impact performance, but does not change the need for MPI barrier after MPI gather. Larger datasets may take longer to gather, but the synchronization behavior remains the same. In summary, MPI Barrier is not needed after MPI Gather, and the size of the data does not affect this requirement. You can safely omit it unless you have specific synchronization needs. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. MPI Gather does not include an implicit barrier, so a barrier after gathering is not needed. Collective operations in MPI are blocking, meaning all data is received when the function returns. However, this doesn't guarantee that all data was sent. Therefore, using MPI Barrier before or after these operations is not necessary. And that's it. I hope it's helped find you to that resolution that you're looking for. And if it did, please, just take a moment, go down, hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until the next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.